Welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, let's see. I went back to Sanctuary. Got Codsworth. Because we're going to bring Codsworth, dog meat, and we're going to get Piper. And then we're going to go rescue Nick. I also, uh... Oops. Bought this shotgun from Arturo. And I uh, fixed it up a little. <clears throat> Excuse me. I picked up some more ammo. Okay. Hey, boy. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> the woman out of time. So, how would you describe your life back then? I practiced law. A lawyer, huh? And what was justice like back then? I made sure everyone got a fair trial, but they didn't get rolled over by the system. The guardian of the downtrodden, huh? So tell me, the world back then, what was it like? Blue skies. Green grass, clean streets, a nice home with a bunch of silly appliances, friendly neighbors. Not like now. Not at all. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Codsworth. Take this. Oh, nothing. All right, then. Hey there. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Miss Wright, I, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my mistress before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. Jesus. 
Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. <laughs> Hey. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Guess we'll find out. Okay. No funny business. Oh, I uh, got some armor for Piper. Here. No, no, no. Want to go inside? Ah. Heads up. You say the word. Did I give her something I was wearing? Yes, I did. Um, did I? Oh, no. Oops. There we go. Hey, Codsworth. Are you sure there isn't something else you'd rather I be doing, Mum? Would you like to? <laughs> Would you like to? There. Oh, yeah. I got some armor for Codsworth, too. I just got his hat. Now we're ready. Got my own army. Let's go get Nick. than I usually like. Bigger man. Sure. Bring it up. How do you have the deliverer? Who's that? It's not now. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. No loitering. Make a move and I'll end you. Wastelander. If you're looking for trouble, feel free to try me. <laughs> Silver? I'll take the silver. Is that combat rifle? Yep, look at that. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'll be using mostly automatic weapons except for sniper rifles. Good dog. Crap. Really? <laughs> Why is the brotherhood so
Oh boy. Oh no, get off! <laughs> That's cool, you could shoot them off at each other. Damn. Let's get out of here. Nice. And I'll just take this. <laughs> no, not really. Hmm. What's that for? What? Hmm? Gunners. Let's go down here. Let's get this show on the road. You're right about that. Is that the best you can do? You're not leaving in one piece. Bingo. Mine now.
Suits me fine. How you doing, buddy? Sweet. Hey, something's out there. What is it? Take the... Let's get this show on the road. this up. Just take this. There's a classic. Yes, come to well, Mama. If anyone could figure out what they need. If that's what you think. I eat danger for breakfast. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. over. That's that. Obviously. Hell yeah. Definitely done. Uh, thanks, I guess. Come to Mama. Excellent. That's it. Sweet. What have you been up to? Mama. 
Hell yeah. Get him. Take him out. Get him. Let's do this. No. You're right about that. And I'll just take this. No, not really. Come to mops. I guess it can't hurt. Let's do this. Let's get this show on the road. I guess you have a point. You don't come around to me. Rip them to shreds! What say you and me go another round? Hey, Codsworth. Something you need from me, Mom? I'm not sure. Maybe. Let me take a look. Are you serious? And I'll just take this. Sweet. Good dog.
Fingo. Come to Mama. Sweet. You're pretty good at that. Like, maybe next time you're in my house, I need to keep an eye on you. If you want. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> this guy yes sweet I don't know if I could hit him through the great. Huh. Into my range. Nice. Thank you. Don't move. Come on, so don't move. Hey, Got him. What is it? You really Miss. don't want to start a fight with me. Must be imagining things. Brady cat. Who's scared? Damn right. Paper. I'm glad that's over with. About I that. can carry something if you need me to. All right, thanks. Excellent. I guess it can't hurt. Heads up. Over here. Uh huh. I don't think I can get to that. Move here. Yep. Don't mind the clutter. Strange the deliver got put in a level list. Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Eight? I got eight of these? I nope, just can't carry anymore. Bug me. Look alive. Look at all this extra inventory. It's a legendary too. I bet I don't have any ammo for it. Thank you. 
Run, buddy. Run, <laughs> dog meat. Legendary. Not gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> Keep you out. No. Hoarding. Is that a problem? What? Ooh. That. Sap for. Why do you ask? Yes. So I got a question. Excellent. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Let's do this. <laughs> Of course I am. Dog me. Hey, boy. Excellent. Nice. I think so. I'm not sure. Nice. Sweet. Ooh, I gotta loosen up. I got the fidgets. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't have a track of those. Do what you gotta do. And... Oh! Sweet. Take him out.
be helpful. That's in better shape than I expected. Eh, it's nothing special. Honestly, I prefer not to talk about it. <laughs> the idle conversation. Um, hey, got a sec? Yes. Do you need anything? Hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... But what's all this, then? Let's get out of here. Ah. Right about that. Come to Mama. Mine now. Take a number. <laughs> 998. Wait until my number's called. Whatever. All right, Nick. It's going to be a little while. You gotta have. Back that terminal to open up this door. Yes. We gotta listen to I this love one. the irony of the reverse damselin distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame, and she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk.
The lone crew here used to be small time. This is Vault Tech interview number 87. For the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name to the soup can Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Soup Can. Would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh, I love Soup Can. I wish he was an actual character in the game, though. That would have been awesome. Put him in charge of one of your settlements. It'd be hilarious. I want you to run this settlement for me. Okay, but I'm not wearing no tie. Or pants. Just what I need right now. Pitiful. You gotta die already. Bingo. Yep. Maybe. What do you want? I don't know why you'd ask. Days, it? Yeah, pretty much. This door is on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Hey, need something? I don't think so. Almost got. It. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. What yep. the? 
Blue, we're not alone here. I'm aware of that, yes. Out of my way. Pretty much. Huh, wish I'd brought something to peruse myself. Find the really? fence. Come on. Who's there? Nothing. Can I freaking see it? Where'd you go? You're kidding, right? My pleasure. I won't be bothering anybody now. No. You can hide and sleep. And I'll just take this. Yeah, something like that. Sweet. Let me. This is gotta stop. Nothing we can't have. Hmm. And uh, I guess it can't hurt. Come to Mama. Nice. Yes. Excellent. The yellow one. God's worth you want a yellow hat. Let's see those moves, Tom. Hey, boy. <laughs> More stairs? Who built this damn vault? Fitness instructor? My turn. I'm gonna die. Is that all? Sweet. You really want to do this here? These human cockroaches around every corner? Yes. You're kidding, right? You're not leaving here in one piece. Come on, Nick. Talk once we're out. Okay. I think we're done for now. No, not really. Bingo. Rubbish. Really? What nice. Why do you ask? Look alive. Hmm? Oh, that's right, she's full. Stupid radio's on. Where's the radio? Come on, radio. Where the hell is that? Stop! Where's the stupid radio? Stop the stupid radio. Come on. Where's the damn thing? Where is it? Where is it? How you doing, I can't buddy? Find it. 
Is it behind this door? Because that's bullcrap. Hiding the radio behind the door. So I gotta pick a lock, turn it off, Got it. or a stupid video gets flagged. Hell yeah. What the hell? Where is it? I didn't see it anywhere. Run! Skinny Malone Hurry up. and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. Oh my god, you can still hear it up uh, here. Ironic, but don't let that fool you. What do you mean ironic? I thought his name was Skinny. Another Dug me. door. Hey boy. Mm, shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Dog me. Hey, boy. Nikki, what are you doing? You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you, you out of trouble? should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. Nick. Hey. Well, well, well. Something like that. Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Alrighty. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see. I think next we'll do the railroad. Or maybe we'll do that in the next one. I think it's been about an hour now. 
Because we got to go see the railroad, so they'll stop shooting at us. I, I think they'll stop shooting at us. I hope they do. And then, uh, then we got to go and visit Dance, because we got to uh, hook up with the Brotherhood so that those guys will stop shooting at us. I just want to fight bad guys. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to call this one here, and we'll do the railroad one next. Your thoughts? Sun goes down, crazies come out. I've got your back. Don't worry. We'll see how far we can get with that one. All right, so you made it this far. Thanks for coming, hanging out, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Take care.